we didn't have power for almost 24 hours at the house from that storm. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, we got to get food. And the options from him and the kids were, we're not up going up my alley. It was pizza. I was like, I don't want to eat pizza. I was like, I'd rather just eat something simple. But then, like, not everywhere's open. So I was like, fuck it. Emmy's like, I want Chipotle tacos. I'm like, all right, kid, good call. Yeah. So Addie and <laughs> Hannah got uh, got Fox's pizza, and I went and got Chipotle. Nice. And mm -mm, my belly ain't been the same. Took, like, three shits in nine hours. Yeah, it was, it was bad. I don't like it. Mm -mm. No, it was like 12 hours. I wonder what part of the meal is, is doing it. My belly just likes certain things. We didn't have power, so I couldn't cook anything. The fu we lost so much shit in the fucking freezer, too. Really? Bro, anything dairy. Mm -hmm. Anything dairy, no power fucking gets getting thrown out. Mm -hmm. Can't can't risk that. No, not all fucked up. Not when you already get jacked up from good dairy. I'm out of Fairlife milk, too. I love Fairlife. I never, I never had it. It's lactose free. Yeah. Okay, so it means I can drink it. And their chocolate milk is out of hand. Mm. Out of hand. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, fuck off, Shane. You're, you just keep racking up the points in the fucking asshole category the past couple of days. You are well on your way to me not liking you again. <laughs> You're like the first day. Again. You, about the first day you were here. Fuck, I don't want to go back there. First day Shane was here, I think I fucking, I, I was really hard on him. I was like, I don't fucking like him. Looked at him. Mm -mm, I don't I'm like, like who's him. this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? Everybody's like, oh, this. And I'm like, I don't like the way he looks. <laughs> this, just got to change it. I don't know what it is about your face. I just don't like it. <laughs> He's white and he got blue eyes. I don't like him. Fucking. I never looked into your eyes. They are blue. Are they? They are. Mm, I never took They're the like time. They're like a dark to... blue. I'm like mm. going to gaze into your soul. Eat it, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that the, the fucking shit that goes on here is a little off the wall sometimes. A little bit. Uh, yeah, like yesterday. Like, yeah, I won 100 bucks. What do you expect? You, you think I'm not going to stick a knife in the wall? I didn't know. I mean, first try with a knife you probably haven't tried that with before, I had big doubts. Mm. Tell you, I can kill a man a hundred different ways with my bare hands. I bet you can't make that axe stick in the wall. We won't bet. I'll bet you a thousand bucks I can. <laughs> One throw? One throw, that fucking axe is going to stick in the wall. Thousand, thousand, thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> would you Would you like to know why I'm so confident? Yes, because okay. you've done it. <laughs> you... I have thrown axes before. I know that. I mean, I'm pretty handy with an axe. <laughs> axe. My penis, <laughs> knives, you name it. I'm pretty fucking good with them. Uh, but you didn't specify. That fucking thing's going through that wall. I'm going to throw it hard enough so that either the handle or or the other end is sticking in. One end is sticking in. That motherfucker's going in. I didn't say blade first. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, shit. No, yesterday uh, we were pretty bored. And I don't know where. I just had my knife out. And I was like, I, bet I could throw it through the wall. Throw it into the wall. You doubted me. It was a proper weight. It's a proper good knife. Weight. You know. Kershaw. My favorite everyday carry knives. I have like 15. I have a ton of them. I just like them because they're a great price. Good price points. They're a great price. Anywhere between like, anywhere between like 25 and 50 bucks mm -hmm. for like an ev a nice everyday carry knife. And then uh, they stay sharp and... Uh, I don't get bummed out if I lose one or fuck one up because it was 25 to 40 bucks. I mean, if a knife lasts me all year, it's fucking well worth it. Yeah. You know, so I just have a ton of them because sometimes I get stoned and then just want to buy shit on Amazon. And I'm like, oh, what could I buy? More knives. Yep. It's a great idea. I do that stuff. I know you do. You do. That's where do you think I learned it? <laughs> I'm I'm really bad with. Would you say the other day to me, you were like, uh, the same thing came in the mail because I ordered it twice. It did <laughs> like two days in a row. I just I fucked up. I didn't know if I was. I, I'm in like a panic to order things because shipping is a little bit delayed, and I don't like waiting for my stuff. <sighs> Can't go pick it up. The Amazon priming has just been out of hand. I'm, two days now, like six day. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And everything's back ordered. 
Because they're only receiving in essential goods. Priority is mm-hmm. first. Like, yeah. you, if you're a seller, you can't even send, you know, this fucking cell phone in. I have maybe a cell phone. Yeah. But yeah, shit's so, selling out, especially the gaming stuff. Pissed about that, huh? Huge influx of sales. I see it. You are. Not, I wonder why they got a huge influx of sales. People like this guy. Yeah, that guy or right that there. Guy. <laughs> fucking, you guys are in it. What an industry. I know. I couldn't. I couldn't get the battle pass last night, or even because the whenever the uh, the power was out. Yeah. And then I had to fucking once the power did come back on, I had to get the house all resituated. Mine was like percentages away from finishing four times and power went on and off no shit yeah yep yeah i had to, I had to download it right before i came on again oh wow yeah <laughs> too many peeps a lot of people on there yeah it's cool i like it it is fun it is it's a good time it is very it is a great way to pass the time especially whenever like uh like i mean you you legit can't do too much they just opened up landscaping around here so i'm allowed to buy landscaping material so i'm going to you know, spread some seed and manure, mm-hmm. go out there, grow some grass, all that shit. I saw a lot of people working. Yeah. I mean, I was, uh, I went down to Sharon Williams pick up paint yesterday morning, and there was three contractors in the parking lot waiting for paint. Getting pretty sure people are going to start saying, fuck it, and going back to work. Americans are meant to work. They're getting pretty frustrated now. Mm-hmm. Like, as the day goes by, not like weeks now, as mm-hmm. each day passes, they're like, fuck this shit, yeah. time to work. Yep. And it's crazy because they keep saying, oh, it's non-essential businesses and this and that. Motherfucker, a paint store is open. Mm-hmm. They're not essential. That's not essential. Fuck you, open up, let's go. Yeah. I can't believe how, I mean, here's the fucked up thing. I saw some statistics. There's 15,000 cases in Pennsylvania. You know how many deaths? Or 1,500 or 15,000? 15,000 cases Mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania. You know how many people died from it? 240. Now, it's 240 people that died from it. And let's understand, I'm going to say all of them were immunocompromised. More people die from the flu than from COVID. And if you do the math, that's like 0.06%. It's a lower death rate than the fucking flu. And And we shut down the entire fucking country. For something that has a lower death rate than the flu. Starting to get a little fucking weirded out by it all. Mm-hmm. I think it's a big load of shit. There's a ton of stuff on the internet right now, too. ton of stuff. Fucking wild. If anybody's curious, just dive into it. Go dive into all the fucking bullshit. You'll see all kind of crazy shit. But do your research and form your own opinions. It's the only thing I can say. But I will say this. With everything going on, the most important thing, I mean, we've always stood for this, but the most important thing is standing together as a country, being unified as a community. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's trying to change the world, like their fucking worldly view from their social media platform, why don't you start in your own fucking community? Rather than try and change the world, why don't you change your community? Yeah. Change your immediate surroundings. Piece by piece, work around that. Because if you can, like right now, I'm, uh, I'm biggest focus is, is the people that follow us and making sure everybody's good, happy, and our community's a main focus. Making sure all the business around us, all the small businesses, make sure they stay because I would fucking lose it if they went out of business. Mm-hmm. I'd go broke making sure other businesses stay open. Yep. The people that support us, uh, yeah. Just because that's, what is, that's what's necessary to happen for our people. This is our community. I, I'm, I just this is this whole thing has uh, really opened my eyes to how important it is to be unified. Mm-hmm. And if you look on Facebook and a lot of other bullshit social media stuff, people are pretty divided. But people are very divided. But now that as this continues to progress, I think that there will be it start to be a shift because everybody's starting to realize that it's like, hey, maybe we shouldn't be at each other's throats. Maybe we should just stick together and understand that we're all in this together Mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that we love one another to go forward as a community, as a country, as a world, as a human race in the right direction. Yeah. Have to. Yeah. It's like we always said, get paid, get laid, motherfucker. That's it. That's like, I don't know. I mean, it's all we really have as a country is, is each other. You know what I mean? If we don't, if we don't, yeah. 
it's all that that's we all have this a very similar common goal kind of be a good person make an honest living take care of the family simple shit I mean, that's why I believe that our brand and what we stand for has become so popular. Mm -hmm. Simple shit, dude. Go to work, fuck your wife, love your family, enjoy your life. Mm -hmm. Go do cool shit. Do things that you deserve to do. You know, whatever you want. If you want to fucking save all your money your whole entire life so that you can have a crazy retirement, do that. If you want to spend your money every fucking day of your life, do that. Nobody's that's the wonderful thing about America. Fuck, I mean, look at the look at the members only women. If you want to go to a place <laughs> I found out that that's like the wrong it's the wrong name. Oh, what is it? <laughs> it's fa- only fans. Only fans. Yeah. Uh. This dude corrected me. He was like, "Hey, dude." He's like, "I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's only fans." I'm like, "That's it." Oh, members only jacket. That's <laughs> yeah, it's it a is. jacket. Oh, it's a jacket. He's like, "I was searching for members only." <laughs> he's looking I'm like, for "Yeah, it. he's looking at jackets." <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we don't really know. No, I I was totally a boomer move. Fucking dad move there. Yeah. <laughs> I love dad moves. I know. I fuck. <laughs> oh fuck! I did one last night or this morning. I forget what it was. I, just, I don't know. She called me out on it though. Oh really? Yeah. I, I forget what it was. Getting older. A lot of shit in here. <sighs> I got my Dan Marino shirt on today. Good sick shirt. <laughs> what a great colorway. Can I go put the jersey on? No. That's a signed jersey. Come on, let's break it out of there. That'll kill you. She'll come in here, burst through the door, and punch you right in the face. I should I should go play him in Madden. In the jersey? Or put the jersey on. Absolutely. Just tell him if you beat him with the Dolphins, you get to put the jersey on. Yeah. That's a good bet. Yeah, that's yeah. a great bet. That is a great bet. Do it right after this. All right. For sure. Me versus the show. I'll be the Dolphins if I beat him. Dolphins are really bad. I know, but. You might win. Got it. They're really If I had a 25 inch monitor, I'd be fine. Yeah, you would be great. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> shit's ridiculous. We were doing so good last night. Oh, man. Well, we might as well get her started here. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the HWMF Podcast. I'm your host, Seth Frosi, here with my heterosexual life mate, Bob. Morning. This is just... We have a guest coming on next week. We do? I'm really fucking excited. Mm-hmm. Finally, we're just like pulling... We're like, fuck it, come in. We'll, we'll like fucking sanitize him at the door, all that happy shit. He's Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man's going to be here. Iron Man's going to be in here. Yep. Mm-hmm. He runs there. He... Well, how, you, you don't run an Ironman. Uh, you participate, compete, compete in Ironman competitions. Yeah, you'd never guess it either. This dude looks like a normal fucking Joe. One of the most normal dudes I've ever met can talk. Oh, He's just man. so great at talking, and you know what? He's pretty fucking good at like stroking your ego. Oh, I'll, yeah. g- I'll give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Always comments on my shoe game. Oh, he tells Pat that he's, like, amazing looking every time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as he walks in the door, it's like a butter-up con- uh, comment. I'll he, take it, too. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. He's good at the delivery. Yeah. Fucking unreal. But we have somebody who's been competing in Ironmans for quite some time. Yeah. And if you saw him in the grocery store, you would not think that this is what this gentleman does. Mm-hmm. And the story he has is pretty wild. And where he's competed and the things he's done around the world is fucking unreal. Yeah. The stories behind the training and like the, the intense moments, the water stuff. Fuck. Unreal. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Yeah. He, awesome. Yeah, we're excited for that. Yeah, Monday. that'll be good. Monday. Mondays. Sounds like you got a case of the Mondays. Mm. Oh man, reckon you get your ass kicked saying something like that. Yeah. Hi. Fucking office space. Man, I, you know. You you've seen office space? No. Right? I watched The Office, not Office Space. Well, do you think... Ah, uh, nope, nope. I was going to say, do you think that being a stoner has anything to do with, like, your movie reviews? I think it has, like, a, things to do with what you choose. Choo- choosing for sure. Yeah. 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 Because Office Space wasn't a real new movie when I originally watched it. Yeah. So being like, a stoner, like, you dig into the archives. It's like Grandma's Boy. Yeah, Grandma's Boy's great movie, one of my favorites. 
Oh, look at you. It's almost too, like... No way. Too shitty. You're a fucking gamer now. And you don't even <laughs> like the concept of the movie? It's a bunch of fucking testers. It's awesome. I don't know why I could never get into that. Not a true gamer, that's why. I'm on my way. Don't let him talk to you like that. It's all going to change once I transfer to PC on Friday. <laughs> Tell you what, this fucker keeps it up. Gonna jump across the table. <laughs> he does. He does have a. Yeah, he's got a small army on Twitch now behind him. Oh yeah, we're fucking strong. <laughs> <laughs> we had a hashtag going last night. What was it? Damn it, Jay. Oh yeah, hashtag Damn it, Jay. <laughs> I love how he's so mad at him this morning. He was. He made me fucking die. He did. He's like, you made me go get the money to buy you back in, and that's why I died. It's a free country. You can do what you want, but you kept fucking heckling me. Oh, my God. Me and Mike were like, here we go. Oh, man. (laughs) We've had some crazy weather, too. Like, I like the window being open in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. The green, the green grass. The grass is green as fuck. I know. Overnight. Yep. Mine is. My backyard grew, like, bro, it's long. Yes. I have have to cut my grass whenever. I got to make sure everything comes out this weekend or whenever it gets nice again. I don't even know. The weather is crazy. Yesterday it's supposed it was to be forty. Fucking... It's supposed to be forty tomorrow. Get the fuck out! Yeah, of here. with like a snow flurry. Oh my god! It does say that. Yeah. And then Sunday it's supposed to be sixty six. Yep. <laughs> and that's... then snow again next week. It says. Yeah, that's what Western PA, on? dude. Yep. yep. Vicious fucking storms. You had no power. No power for a little bit. It was crazy. Boop boop. We have a giveaway going on. We do. You're should 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 have let everybody know that before we dig into the current events of the world. Yeah, uh, we are doing an axe and sledge giveaway. All of uh, all of my favorite shit. Everybody asks about everything that I like. A lot of people have asked about. I've noticed my sunglasses, my knives. Um, that's pretty much the two that are on point. Mm-hmm. And then the headphones. Headphones. So we figured we'll do a giveaway full of a bag full of my favorite shit. So we have. I'll show everybody, tell everybody about it. We have this Yeti Cameo carry-all bag. Is it Camino bag. or ca- Camino. Cameo? Camino? Camino. Like an El Camino? Yeti yeah. Camino. Camino. I was yeah. calling it that, and then I said Cameo. Now I sound, I feel, I feel like it was wrong. Mispronunciation. I'm really good at mispronunciating things, aren't I? Yeah. Happens Fucking to all of us. Great. Jambalaya. 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 Yeah. Seriachi. 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 Oh my God. What the Liberace. fuck? Liberace. <laughs> Liberace on ice. Carry all. It's a Camino carry all bag. It's fucking sick. It's a yeah. waterproof bag. It's like a beach bag, boat bag, like camping bag. You can like spray it off. Ball bag. Ball bag. Beer bag. Beer bag. Put ice in it. Throw shit in it. Put Snacks. your towels. Snacks. Anything. You can fit anything in here. That keeps it cold. Yeah, eh, right? yeah, I don't know. It's just a giant bag. All you could cool shit in here. probably put a bunch of ice and shit in there, yeah. too. And then uh, we have a pair of sunglasses, mm. Oakley sunglasses. I like these ones. They're called Holbrooks. Yeah. Okay, you can get the steel frame or the mix, and that's the mix of the, f- the plastic and the steel. I uh, just kind of broke the box there. Oh, fuck that one, huh? doesn't matter about the box. It matters what's inside the box. And then these are the ones that <clears throat> I like. Fucking sweet shades. Yep. Nice. They got the steel. They got the the steel arms and then the plastic fronts. So the steel fronts. I had those ones. Whenever I put them on top of my hat, it broke the lenses because it opened them up. Yeah. Didn't like it. Yep. I sent a mess. I sent a message like you did in high school mm. or not high school in grade school when you had to write a letter to somewhere about what sucks about their product. Yeah. I told him that the steel frames suck. I like the plastic frames. You guys did do the plastic frames, but the steel frames suck. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't write me back. I don't they're know probably why. waiting. They're probably going to get back to yeah, you. Yeah, they'll probably get back to me. But six shades. Goes with the, the Dan Marino yep. shirt really Maybe well. Maybe we should go to Miami and do cocaine, too, in these. I mean. Sweet shades. One in Rome. Yep. <laughs> you guys don't want to do cocaine I say, I say that a lot on the stream. When yeah, you Rome. do. When in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> I look for the most awkward times to say it. Yeah. So we got that, and then we have... Kershaw knife, my everyday carries. Nice. Oh, that's a sick one. I like it. Good color. I might put my nice. old one in there. 
you should. You should put your old knife in there and be like, it's used. It's beautiful. Sign Brand new knife up. just has to be sharpened. Just has to be sharpened and washed. Nope. New. Uh, they call this one. What is the name of it? I believe it's the name is Emerson. Yep. Emerson Knife Designs. Kershaw. Sweet. It's got a cool logo on it, too. Then we got the Power Beats. Beats by Dre. Yep. Sweet headphones. Mm -hmm. They last up to 15 hours. That's a battery life on there. Might want to hold on to that. And then we also got uh, some baseball cards. Sack of marbles. <coughs> Petey. Uh, <laughs> we decided the fuckery to go along with this was the baseball cards and sack of marbles. <laughs> You, mil you may still get a dead bird. We're you not, might get we're a dead bird without a head on there. I don't know. <laughs> if fucking there, Robin, Hood, Robin Hood over here can slice one out of the sky with yeah. his new bow. I was fucking shooting in the gym earlier. <laughs> <laughs> shooting in the gym. Jesus God. <laughs> but to get the bag, to get the bag with all the cool shit in it, all you have to do is spend $50 on Axe and Sledge website and you automatically be entered the Timing is from now, when you're listening to this, if you haven't already found out, until Saturday at midnight. We're going to pull a name on Sunday, and we're going to announce the winner on Sunday. So you get all that cool shit. Then you got to come pick it up. Yeah, you got to come here and pick it up. We're not sending it No matter it where to you're you. at, you got to yeah, so fly in here and pick it up. Actually, no, they'll probably like that. We'll send it to you. <laughs> ah, we're going to send it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we choose on Sunday. Spend 50 bucks, automatically entered, $50 or more uh, on there, and you're automatically entered. Uh, we're doing, we're pretty much doing giveaways. We got some pretty, we got other ones planned too. I would love, like, to support a company that did giveaways like that. Like, I just I, want like cool, cool shit. Stuff. Yeah, the cool stuff. I just want cool shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, all the cool shit I like. I like sunglasses. I'm a whore for sunglasses and knives. Mm -hmm. I've probably spent, knives, I've probably spent at least $2,000 on fucking knives. Over the past couple of years. I'd love like a an Easter basket of knives, guns, ammo, like the gaming stuff. All the stuff you like. like. A sweet new mouse pad. Sunglasses. I love sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Oakley's, Maui Gyms. Those ones I like. Ray-Bans are too small for my head. I'm a Ray-Bans guy. I got a big, wide head. Mm -hmm. They don't fit. I have not put a pair of Ray-Bans on yet that fit my face. Mm -hmm. Just big. Yeah, so I just have, like, I buy the same sunglasses over and over again. Yeah, same color, same everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm just mm. I don't like that particular. I like to feel like a, whenever I put on a pair of sunglasses, I want to feel like someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, oh look, I'm wearing my orange shades. Like you know, the, they have a certain frame and then yeah. orange orange lenses, or green lenses, or blue lenses. Depends on who I feel like being in my head. I do like a colored lens. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You got to. I bought a pair of Ray Bans just because I feel like I had to. And then now when I put them on my face, they're too small for my head. Mm. They don't fit. because Do I they a, push out a bit? Yeah, because I have a big nose and a wide face, mm. tiny ears. So, like, that's why Maui Gyms and Oakley's work for me. It's for, like, dad heads. If that's, how would, if that's what makes you feel better about yourself, yeah. Like for dad faces. <laughs> I just have, like, I don't know. Dads wear specific style glasses. All the other ones don't work. Glasses, shoes. <laughs> oh shorts. my god! Did you see the meme of uh, like choosing your dad skin? No. And, and it's a dad like just wobbling back and forth like that, like in a pregame. Oh yeah. And like his outfit keeps changing, like khaki shorts, like jeans with New Balances, what's, what's leaf this? blower. What's <laughs> oh my god! I gotta find it right now. It's so fucking funny. I love my leaf blower. Oh, I'm not going to be like able to find it. It's like a GTA closet change. You'll yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I understand. It's pretty funny. Oh, it's a riot. I just saw you doing it. Okay. I think, I don't know. I take, I love being a dad. Like, I, I don't know, like, holy fuck, is that what happens to you when you, like, get so far into being a dad? Like, everything becomes rationalized about it? I think like, so. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, cargo shorts, comfortable <clears throat> shoes. I think you're just a victim of circumstance. <laughs> You're dead. Just gonna. That's it. I don't know. They, but it's not like I'm like. Uh, they all make sense. All yeah, of yeah. it makes sense. Tell you what, one of the coolest dads. One of the coolest dads that made such an impact on me was uh, Ralph Hemphill. All right, this fucking dude was one of the baddest ass dads I've ever met. So uh, I dated his daughter in high school. Okay, 
But like Ralph, I knew I went to this. I went to the gym. I went to York's gym mm -hmm. whenever I was like 14 years old. Okay, and then going there, like that's when I fell in love with lifting weights. So when I lifted weights, bro, that was just my shit. It was in my zone. My mom dropped me off every day, and uh, when I went to whenever I went there, I'd train with all the grown men at that time. So like I just knew all the guys that worked at the mill that got off at like three o'clock. And then they go to the gym because that's when I went right after high school and I just fell in love with lifting weights. So I got to know all the dads. Yeah. And then Ralph came in same time every day, always went to work. Same time he worked swing shift uh, as a machine, as a machinist, bro. The dude was, you never saw the dude in a bad mood. Dude was always in a good mood. Mm. Fucking did his shit. Came in. He was a huge Florida state fan. Okay. He had a fucking Florida state Seminole on his belt. Okay, <laughs> had the fucking New Balance shoes, had the fucking the gym outfit on. Like, I mean, dude just came in, did his thing, repetitive. The epitome of a hardworking motherfucker. Yeah. Okay, had two daughters, and um, and just got to know him. Like, just at the gym. What turns out in high school, I ended up like uh, I ended up meeting his daughter in study hall, mm -hmm. and then one night, I uh, one night we were, I was at a basketball game. And she asked me for a ride home. So took her home, invited me inside. And I'm like, fucking Ralph's, this is Ralph's daughter. I knew. Yeah. Okay. Cause I knew Ralph for like two years before I met her. Uh -huh. Go into the house. And then he walks in the door, walks in the door after I'm sitting on his couch. And he's like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, hey, Ralph. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> was he mad to no, see you? No, or? no, because he knew me from the gym. Like, yeah. I, bro, I saw Ralph every day of the week. Yeah, yeah. Like, whenever he was working a certain shift, I saw him every single day of the week, mm -hmm. five days a week. So, I got to know him. Hey, I got to know everybody at the gym. You know, 16, 17 year old kid. I think I was 16 years old. But, um, <laughs> so uh, I got to know him over the years because I dated his daughter. And the dude was just the epitome of a hardworking motherfucker, the all-American roughneck. Dude, I never saw this guy ever bitch about work. He worked no matter what time of day it was, no matter what it was, he just went to work, shut the fuck up, and did his job and loved his family. He had two daughters. His wife worked as a nurse, as an OR nurse, just hardworking people. They did everything for their family. He made sure that you never saw him, you never saw his emotions get the best of him. Mm -hmm. Dude wore new, nice new balance to work. He had his grass cut in new balance. <laughs> like you saw the whole thing of being that because he didn't work for himself. He worked for his family. Mm -hmm. And those little pieces I talk about how I take away from people, I took so much away from this man because he did everything for his family. You never, whenever you never hear someone bitch about any, about work, man, does that change like the aspect of a home life. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see a, a home a home grow from the standpoint of going on the vacation, taking your family on the vacation, making sure that you're budgeting your life properly, making sure that everything goes right. It, it's I took a lot away from that guy. Mm -hmm. Dude's a bad motherfucker. It's so cool to meet people that there's just those people that are never in a bad fucking mood. It, it, no, he, yeah, that's what I you mean. Know? Like, he definitely did, but he watched how he showed his emotions. Mm -hmm. And, like, it has such an impact. And I look back on it now as a grown man, and I'm like, fuck, dude, that dude was on his shit. Mm -hmm. Good dude. Took a lot away from him. Yeah. He drank Coors Light, drank a lot of it. It's okay. It's yeah. Part of the gig. But that was, but, like, I mean, <laughs> but no, no, it wasn't like, like, it, that was his beer that he drank. Yeah. I, I don't think he, I think he stopped drinking Coors Light. I think he'd drink something else. Hmm. He also he also uh, would bitch at the TV about FSU games and uh, uh, what else? Like the little dad shit. Yeah. Like he was a – bro, the, uh, Yellow Labs. Uh, all, like woke the up – American every, dad dog. Bro. Yeah. I, I mean, if you could ever script more of a fucking dad, you couldn't. Dude was just <laughs> – truck's always clean. Trucks always clean. Did, just did the same shit every day. Listen, so what, what occurs? Because there's multiple generations of dad that go down the exact same road. That's what I'm saying. And this guy was like the epitome of being a badass dad. Yeah. Like he was in good shape. 
But like, how does that just get peppered in all of a sudden? That like, pe- white New Balances are the shit. Peanut M and M's <laughs> trail mix. His wife made fire trail mix. He would sit there and eat a jar of it while he watched football games. Fucking dude's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, man. Fucking. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know like how you go down this path of being a dad. Dad's dad skills are so badass. <laughs> What like I'm they saying? really like like uh like in why him when they go to cut the, get the Christmas tree, and like they want to cut this down he can't get the fucking chainsaw started he's like hand it over, <laughs> dad move yeah fucking first pull you know fucking awesome, but dad skills are like they're so acquired over time because you're just you've done them so many fucking times so repetitive and nobody <laughs> fucks with your shit yeah. and it's like yeah I can do it yeah I've done that I gotta do it mm-hmm. straight lines in his yard. Pushed it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Wear tidy whiteies. Yep. Don't give a fuck. No. Nope. Same ones. Yep. Don't give me different ones. Bro, uh, I remember he still had shirts with tags on them from like a store that went out of business. He's hanging on to them because he won't yep. get them back. Yep. Dad move. Yep. Fucking strong dad move. Mm-hmm. Dads are badasses. I do that now, and I don't think I have a kid. I, that's what I was getting at, Shane, because, like, I, I was painting my one room last night. I banged half this thing out in, like, three hours. I'm like, man, my dad would be so fucking pumped right now. Now, imagine if you had a kid yeah. watching you do it. Yeah, right. And you'd tell him all about it, how to do it. Yeah. Dad moves. Yeah. No, son, this is how you... No, no, no. What are you doing over there? You can't do it like that. You got to do it like this. You're teaching him. Your dad about, taught you how to bang out a room like, like that. How about like when a dad like fucks up in front of you and like just plays it off like he didn't? Oh, I, yeah. Fuck yeah. You got to. Dad, was that supposed to break like... Yeah, yeah. I meant, meant to do that. <laughs> Get in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, he was one because my dad was so... My dad was a little bit different because my dad was very intense. Mm-hmm. So, like, getting to know him and seeing, like, my dad swinging a snake around his fucking head, <laughs> bashing it on the fucking thing, fucking <laughs> bitching at me about how to take the garbage out, teaching me all these shits. So, like, uh, just seeing the difference of it, but so many similar qualities. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking riot. <laughs> Dude was awesome. Like, you put a few, like worldly dads together pretty much accomplish anything (laughs) absolutely (laughs) oh my god uh yeah yep good times good times (laughs) (laughs) i'm turning into one hardcore i'm down man like shane said i don't have i don't even have any kids i'm i feel like i'm turned into that yeah absolutely the tendencies, the habits, the absolutely, and and you know the the way I look at it is, and I uh, whenever I look back at it and think about it, I mean, my thing is is take away as many good qualities from the people that you meet so that you can become a better person. Mm-hmm. You know, take away as many qualities as you can from these people that you meet, like Ralph, like my dad. Like anybody that I meet, fuck. I just took away from things. The people that I met on job sites, any any mentor that I ever had. Nick Bales is whenever I was working as a consultant. John Lafayette, whenever I was a consultant, worked for him and how he ran his business and what he did. I take away as many things as I can from these people mm-hmm. and add it to my life so that I can become a better person and leave behind all the bad qualities because I hope when people meet me, they take all my good qualities and kind of... Leave the really fucked up ones that I have. Like, leave those ones behind. Mm -hmm. And just because you don't like everything about a person doesn't mean that you can't respect them or appreciate them. You got to take away as much good as you can because that, I believe, is how you make this world a better place. How you can make your community a better place. How you can make your household a better place. How you make yourself a better person. Yeah. I mean, never bitching about work. That was a big one. Yeah. I don't know. Just being cool. Cutting the grass in straight lines. Like it's cool now. Fun. I didn't think it was cool like when I was a kid. Fucking awesome. <laughs> now it's fucking really cool. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, what happens? I would love to know like... Because my dad still does everything better than me. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, my dad still is that same way. I'm start, I, might be, I might be turning a corner here. Like, I think I am because he's just getting too old. Mm-hmm. And now I'm getting my chance to, like, step up. And I'm, I'm actually, I think it's being achieved. Mm-hmm. Like, one day maybe he's going to ask me for advice. Probably not. Or he'll just not, not feel, bust my balls as much. I feel like my dad may ask me for advice. To just like to test me, like oh man, maybe that's the de- next. Like, de- maybe uh, that's the next dad move. Like hopefully he's gonna give me the advice that I wanted him to learn from me over the years. Yeah, and, yeah, I think that's what it is—a big test. Because like he'll never say anything like oh thanks for the advice. Like it'll just end the conversation. Like he either didn't agree with it or he was like spot on. I I don't know if it's uh, me becoming more of a dad or business owner or like entrepreneur, whatever you want to fucking call it, of being a little bit more of a savage. Because when it comes to things, like in times of, like right now, I'll say like when it comes to my people and my businesses, I'll be a staunch fucking prick. Because mm-hmm. you're not going to fuck with my shit. Yeah. Like you have to stand your ground with your people. And when it comes to it, it's like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is what we have to do. You know, I, and I think that's, uh, I don't know, I don't think that's a dad move. I think that's a don't fuck with my shit because we have to for our people, our company. And make sure everybody's working, mm-hmm. and but still have the comp- I don't know what better can't use the word compassion, but like for our community, like I don't want to see nothing bad happen right now. No, to no one. No, fuck no. Especially whenever this is a bunch of bullshit from a bunch of ball washing bastards who can't keep their shit together, a bunch of crybaby fucks. <sighs> I get all fired up. I'm pissed now. All I want to do is see people go back to work. Yep. It's all I fucking want. It's been... The, I'm, I'm pissed. I just... Can't let myself get the best of me. Can't let it happen. Nope. Just want to, just want to go to work. I just want to see, I just want to see construction vehicles. I just want to, spe- I want to see road work. For I want God to sit sake. in traffic. Why the fuck aren't they doing road work right now? Now is the time. This is when they should be doing ro- road work. Yep. No, nobody's on the road. What are we? We're we're all going to go back to work. Everybody's going to go back to work. Fucking all these all everybody that has an office job is working from home right now. Mm-hmm. Fucking offices are going to open back up and road construction is going to start and it's going to be a fucking nightmare. Yep. They should be doing it now. Social distance while you do road work. It's possible. Open up the fucking quarries. Get the asphalt plants running. Get the fucking Get the concrete plants running. Start doing road work. Nobody's on there. Mm-mm. If you're doing road work and you're not six feet away from someone, you're not, and you are closer than six feet, you're not doing your fucking job. Yeah, you're fucking off. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. That means you guys are talking. Stop fucking talking. Start working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, road work has to open back up. I mean, I, I see things occurring. Like the, it, Things are opening back up. I think people stop caring. People, people are cutting people. grass. I see small machines at residential properties, commercial yeah. properties. Bro, they're, yep. they're doing work. Yep. Let's it, go. If it's, a, if it's a smaller, privately owned thing, they're working. If they, you know, if, if possible. Yep. Got to. Fuck it. Got to. You got to take care of your family. Uh, the $1,200 stimulus is like a nice gesture. Like as a business, what, what we applied for with a small business, that's great because it's going to make sure that we continue to operate Mm -hmm. and don't lay anybody off. It's to guarantee the people we employ and the families that are are around us that they're taken care of. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fucking. (laughs) Uh -uh. Like boiling. Nope. Like boiling. (laughs) You, j- you just need to play more Call of Duty. Is that what I need to do? Yeah. I feel like I need to eat more snacks, too. Oh, well, that's the birthday cake one. Birthday cake, Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispie Treats aren't that bad for you. You know how many calories are in this thing? 90. 90 calories. I know, because I examine the fuck out of them all the in time. In this delicious treat. I don't want to know how Rice Krispie Treats can pull something like this off, but Pop-Tarts are like 400 calories. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty good. So I have a box of cookies and cream ones at my house, and I just look at them. 
Has anybody eaten these yet? Yes. Yeah. These are fire. Yeah. yeah. Really good. The mm. cookies and cream is better, in my opinion. It is better. Yeah. The cookies and cream is better than the birthday cake. Yes. These Rice Krispie treats, I didn't. I don't. I didn't, maybe I didn't know I liked them this much. You need, I love homemade Rice Krispie treats. You need to make Dean's version of homemade Rice Krispie treats. Like instead of using Rice Krispies, he uses smashed up Oreos. Oh man! Listen, Mm-mm. Shane's like I'm writing that down. Mm-mm. I'm doing that, bro. That's a high rating. This is a very high rating. Yep. As a, from a sweet standpoint, not a chip standpoint. Mm-hmm. It's like an eight eight. These things fuck. I'm going to go ahead and say the cookies and cream is like an 8-9. Am I going to have to go after all the Rice Krispie treats now? Mm-hmm. I got to. I'm going to buy in every single one. I got to try them all. I was like, they, they feel like they're not really, really not that bad for it because they're so light. Well, they're not. These aren't that bad for you. I can't. Listen. I'll there's only one. 17 carbs in here, 90 calories, 3 grams of fat. I should use that as like a pre-workout snack. These are stupid fucking good. Oh, man. Rice Krispie Treat guy. I might be a Rice Krispie Treat guy. I think there is, like, at least 10 different kinds. Oh, my. I'm going to get them all. Yep. The chocolate chocolate. It's like it has chocolate chips on top of chocolate. Never had them. Hmm. My. The cookies and cream shits on that. No way. The bottom of the Rice Krispie Treat has, like, a layer of cream. I may be. Really? Yes. The bite is the bite alone is worth the trip. <laughs> Here, so there's um, the original uh-huh. cookies and cream birthday cake, uh, milk chocolate M and M minis. M mm. and M's on stuff is okay. Uh, the cocoa crispy treats with M and M minis, regular cocoa crispies. I do the cocoa crispies for sure. And that's it. Just the minis after that. Okay, I might be a rice crispy treat guy. I didn't know this. Did you have any of the other cereal bars before? Uh, no, not really. I'm not a big sweet guy. Shane, have you had breakfast cereal bars? I mean, I've eaten them, yes. but like, I don't. Bre- breakfast cereal bars are different than those. Yes and no. It's the same concept, just with other cereal. Uh, is it made by Rice Krispie Treat? No. And it's not the same. Like the Lucky Charms, the Golden Grams. Those are great. These are they. I guess they are Kellogg's, huh? These Kellogg's. Yes, Kellogg's. Kellogg's. Yeah, Kellogg's. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're the same. We should bring bring the cereal bars in to Listen, a cereal bar day. We 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 filmed a training video yesterday. I said fuck it, let's just start filming my functional training sessions. Yeah. All these crazy things. Tell you what, I had a little. I was a little pissed. I ran. We did cardio for like thirty five. Did thirty five minutes of cardio. Ran. Show everybody my skills of running and looking like a fucking... Mm-hmm. I don't know. Shane said I look pretty good. Yeah, it didn't look bad at all. I think he's just super critical of Maybe himself. my strides are getting better. Yeah. Because I've been running for a while now. Um, you look a lot looser when you're running. I did notice. I'm um, doing mobility stuff. Yeah. Like, look at these arms. They go above my head. It's yeah. crazy. Jake's been working on them. Look at that. Holy shit. Pretty good. What, how's like... This is getting better. Oh, yeah. It's not great, mm-hmm. but it's way better than this. Yeah. Because this is what it used to be. I was the example in my anatomy class in college. Really? What not to be as far as mobility goes. That's me. Yeah. That's most bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that strong men might be better than like power lifters and uh, and bodybuilders. More more mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, Or I hate, I don't know, again, I'm not good on the terminology, the definition of mobile mobile and flexible. Mm -hmm. Like what's mobility and flexibility? Think mobility is being flexible while doing things for lack of better like for not yeah. maybe look that maybe look the definitions up shane but anyway i think strong men are because strong men are much more functional mm-hmm. they do functional things b- while being very strong mm-hmm. that's kind of my goal like bro i've already been geared out of my fucking mind incline pressing 405 for like 15 mm-hmm. like yeah you can do it if you're geared the fuck out of your mind and you're training for strength, yeah, you're going to be very, very strong. I'm not geared out of my fucking mind anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this consistent dosage of testosterone the rest of my fucking life. This is where I'm at. Why am I bigger? Because I eat a shitload. Yeah. That's my problem. My problem is is I eat too much. If I clean up my eating like the summertime, I can't wait. 
I just eat less in the summer and I eat way better. I eat a lot of fruits and veggies, do a lot more outside work. And I usually get down to like 218. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm like 230. That's because I'm just, I just eat a fucking Rice Krispie treat for God's sakes. Yeah. I eat a half a bag of Doritos at night sometimes. What are you laughing about? I ate a whole bag of flaming hot Cheetos last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you my my I think like this right now uh is just like if I do legs, my leg genetics are out of hand. If I train legs, they just get bigger. If I just do squats and leg presses, they get bigger. So the more I do legs, the bigger they get, the more weight I gain. It's half your fucking body for God's sakes. But the f- more functional workouts I'm enjoying. Mm-hmm. So I did I did hang cleans yesterday. I was getting pissed. I did. See, this is the bodybuilder in me. The bodybuilder in me is like, let's do like five sets of fucking 135 before I move up to 185 to 225 to 275. No, can't do that. Mm -hmm. You just have to, and you just, and then I was doing like five to eight reps each time. That's too much. Mm -hmm. From a functional standpoint, you should do 135 for like one or two sets. 185 for a set, right. 225 for a set or two, and then move up to 275. I didn't. I did the bodybuilder thing. I'm still learning. I'm still breaking habits. Yeah. So I did 27. Whenever I got to 275, I couldn't fucking, I couldn't get it. I could get it up, and I couldn't get under it because mm-hmm. I don't have the form. I need to. Somebody needs to come in and show me exactly how to do it because I'm just fucking pissing into the wind. But I'm liking it. Fuck it, right? I'll come in. I'll coach you. I gotta just. Somebody show me. I told him to ask you, and he was like, no, nah, Bob, Bob can't do Olympic lifting. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah. I was taught by the best Olympic coach on the planet. High school coach, huh? Yeah. What was his? What Mr. Was his Vecchio. Mr. Coach Vecchio. Vec. Yep. Yep. Taught me everything about Olympic lifting. I would love to have... No, I'm, I'm not going to say that. It's fucked up. Go on, please. Uh, I, that was pretty much it. Okay. But, yeah. I, <laughs> I just need to learn how to do it. Yeah. But anyway, I got to 275 and I couldn't fucking get it. Yeah. I was really starting to get really pissed. And then finally, it took me three sets. You got and it. And I finally got it. I got one. Like, get it right there. I can fucking yank it up, but I just couldn't get under it. Mm-hmm. So, and I don't have the mobility of my arms, my shoulders don't go down. So, like this. Yeah. I just don't have the posture. I don't have the whole. Just bring in fucking Stefan. Oh, from yeah. From Legends. That's yeah. who I should get in here. Yep. Fuck yeah. He's an animal. Yeah, he's good with his shit. That little fucker's intense. Yeah, he's strong. Strong as a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I think that, like, once I... Because I can, I can up row 315. <laughs> probably up, up, upright row 315, 365. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'd imagine that I could be able to get it. I pulled... <clears throat> I was pulling 545, 545 for a few last week on deadlifts again. You could be power cleaning big weight. Yeah. 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 Hang with, cleans, with the right form. Hang though. cleans are different than power cleans. Mm-hmm. The hang cleans start here, and then you just lift it up. If I started from the floor, fuck yeah, I'd be able to throw it in the air. Yeah. But I want to just get the motion in my upper back strong and all that. That's where they like they, they work on those progressions so, so much. Like, yeah. They, like one day just might be working on the hang clean. One day is just working on the shrug and the pull. Like, you're not actually doing the motion. It's just oh. the shrug. Really? Like, you'll do five sets of just, like, the shrug pull, and then you'll set your weight down. Man, I don't have any of that. I don't have the techniques. I don't have that whole process. Mm-hmm. I'm just manhandling it, so I feel manly. Yeah, because like then you fucking idiot. then you can throw it all together, and then it's, yeah. You'll find your sticking point. Yeah. Fuck. Power cleans are awesome just because you get the leg power. See, I do enjoy that because it's something I've never done. Mm-hmm. Since I've never done it, I just want to do it to try it. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking bored. I need something new to do. I need a new goal to attain. I think it's cool cool stuff to, to learn because you don't have to be the strongest to be able to move that weight. No. Like, the form is, is so impressive to me. Absolutely. It's important. Mm-hmm. And, like, right now, I've already done I've already done the bodybuilding stuff, and I do enjoy it. I I just did it yesterday. I was like, oh, I'm going to do functional stuff. And then I get tied. I get like pulled right back into the bodybuilding side of things. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm just doing things to do them, to try them. So now I need to fo- legitimately focus. I need to take certain days that I do things and legitimately focus on those tasks at hand. Mm-hmm. Like I need to say, fuck it. Today is going to be the functional day of doing power cleans. And then, like, dedicate that day to it. I need to do my running and all that stuff and then do it. It's almost best, too, with those types of workouts to write them down, like, in front of you. 
Yeah. So like you can, so you stick to them and you don't do the bodybuilder thing. Fucking plan. Yeah. So I don't, I don't deviate away and go back to my old ways and don't run first. But I like running first because like when I take seventh gear, my fucking, I get way too, way too wound the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Like I can't take seventh gear and then train. Like you got to run it off a little bit. I got to run it off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it just fucking. I love it because I feel like I feel. All, <laughs> I don't know the way I feel. I feel functional, but then like my legs, like I have to move. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like I even doing push-ups, bro. I, I could do a fuck ton of push-ups. Yeah, a ton of fucking push-ups. So like I do push-ups in between sets. Mm -hmm. Just keep moving, sweating, sweating, sweating. Kind of like I mean. I don't know. What did we, been... I fucking trained for like two hours yesterday. No oh, shit. Yeah, I think we started filming at four thirty. We left at six, six or six thirty. <laughs> nice, it was nuts. long workout. I just, just got into it. Well, not only that, like, if I don't, if I stop and I still have shit left in the tank, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go home and just be fucking. Uh, I gotta do something. Mm -hmm. I want to fucking wear it all off, so then I'm just like dead. Yeah, and then I can go and do my home tasks after that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't feel like I should go home and be Zooming. I don't want that. No, I kind of went home like rampaging yesterday. I don't want to do that. I yeah. hate, When I go home rampaging, it makes my household, everything in my household, like go to another level mm -hmm. that shouldn't be there because then frustration starts and a bunch of bullshit and fucking... Blah. Yep, Kim had to put me in check. Did she? Oh, yeah. I was being such a dick. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd she say? Well, what'd I, you do? Well, I just... Because I, I wanted to rush home. I'm, I know you. You left here in a in a scurry yesterday. I wanted to get the room painted because I'm setting up for gaming for Friday, and I want to look do, really you cool, do cool, right? Your shit, yeah. But like, I went in and a five hour project. I think I can do in two, you know. So I'm just like oh, running around, boy. running around, and then I assume she should see like your the, vision, and she should have helped with this, and she should have moved that, and isn't that the worst? It's so bad. I hate it. And then I feel like a dick, but I'm not ready to apologize just yet. Nope. It's just like, leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. And then I'll apologize. Yeah. It was tough. You know, the, whenever I learned it about Hannah and I, because I still do it, but mm -hmm. she still does it to me. So, like, it's, it's like that meme on quarantine. Did you see the quarantine meme where it says, hey, you know what we're going to play today? We're going to do, we're going to play, uh, uh, oh, fuck. Like, um, the quarantine game we're playing today is... You should have did it this way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know why you're doing it that way. You should have did it this way. Yeah. Like doing things as a fucking couple. As a, uh, it, I do it to her all the time. Mm. I do it to everybody all the time. Like, huh, I can't believe you didn't fucking see that. But, or teaching. Whenever I'm teaching somebody some, something, I, you know, you teach them. Well, whenever you're rampaging, there's no teaching. You should just see it like me. Yeah. She does that to me with gymnastic stuff. Right. Like she's like whenever I was installing fucking when I'm installing bars, uneven bars, or the fucking single bar, this is a bar that these girls are going to be fucking flipping on. Mm -hmm. Like legitimately the only thing hanging on is their fucking arms. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna fly off of it and then jump and grab it on the other on the in the other direction. There's a lot of momentum, a lot of force. I'm going to inspect it. Front, back, center, side to side, up, down, around, everything, before I go fucking drilling these anchors into the ground. Yeah. And she's like, oh, it's just going to be like this. It's just all done by fucking, all done by tension. And I'm like, hold the fuck on. No. And she's like, yeah, just put it in there. You should know this and this. And I'm like, no, this is the first fucking time I've ever done it. Yeah. So I know the feeling of what I do to her sometimes. Yeah. I, and it's very degrading. It is. Because it makes me feel like a fucking moron. Even though I kind of am because I've never done it before and she's been doing it for fucking 12 years. Yeah. You know? When I get impatient with it, I start to become condescending. Yeah. Which is awful. Yeah. Like, I'll even say, I'll be like, oh, God. Like, whenever you replayed it in your head and you're like, oh, that was a bad, God, oh, I can't believe I said that. Yeah. Well, why would I do it that way? Well, I do it better. And then it's like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Fuck. You can't say it, but you want to. Yeah. We're all so guilty of it. And then, like, I don't... I, I learned whenever we built that gym that I learned how to eat my words and like apologize in a new way that I'd never done before. And uh, yeah, I guess I became a better person, but I still disregard that and tell her she's wrong a lot. Yeah. But she does it to me too, so it's okay. Oh, yeah. that I, I'm way more of a dick with the stuff, but I mean, she uh, 
She does it too. Yeah. Little little things. It's okay. Then you have makeup sex, and you kind of push your head into the fucking pillow, and then it's all good. It's, uh, everything's better. Yeah. Yep. She slaps me in the face a little bit, and I'm like, oh, I like that shit. I can get away with like three more things now, like after that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's why makeup sex is great, because it's supposed to be rough. Yeah. Yeah. Just bury the hatchet. Yeah. You know? I'm going to get you good, you fucker. It's like, damn it, he got me. Sure, she got me. Or did she do that on purpose so I would do that to her? <laughs> you, I tell you sometimes. Winning. Winning. <laughs> Both won that one. How fucked up is that? That Those are real things. Uh-huh. Like, that's really how things work out. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be a dick to you so you get mad at me, and we're going to have crazy makeup sex. Because everybody knows makeup sex is great. We should just start with that. Hey, I'm about to be an asshole to you. So we're gonna make up tomorrow. It's gonna be great. <laughs> so get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> it would not if you just started with that. Why can't we just start with that? Listen, I'm gonna fucking treat you like a whore tomorrow. Oh, you know that. <laughs> oh, it was pretty funny two nights ago. So she was like straight up telling me something while we were eating dinner, right? We get up, we're cleaning up. This is like 10, 15 minutes later. I'm like, hey, and start to say it, like say it to her again. And she's like, we just talked about this oh at boy. dinner. Like we oh just boy. started talking about it. And she looked at me like she was so pissed. And I just went over <laughs> and I just like hugged her. I'm like, listen, I was like, just forget about this one. I was like, just forget about this one. All right. I was like, I was a dick. I know. Really bad one. Really bad. <laughs> And she didn't get mad. It worked. Like, I smoothed it over. I definitely could play video games tonight. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, you did. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's awesome. No, I think we were talking about the whole uh, wearing the mask to the grocery store now and all oh, that. Okay. We were talking about that. And then we got done. I was like, hey, I was like, if you go to Giant Eagle tomorrow, like, you might get looked at weird if you don't cover your face. And she's like. What the fuck? She's like, we just fucking talked about this. Man. Man, I'm bad with that sometimes. Well, I think I think we all are. It's called selective hearing. That's a dad move. The worst part is this thing doesn't always have to be involved. Like sometimes this thing's not involved, and I'm still not listening. <laughs> yes, I, I did that too. I'm like I'm like looking. I'm like dad moves. I've learned how to block things out and just be in my own world. You could be fucking. That's what happens whenever you. I guess the the, the dad part of that is. You will get smacked in the face because of like the baby screaming and you just completely tuning it out. Yeah. I think as a guy, it's pretty easy to do is just tune things out. Mm -hmm. Like just pretend things don't exist. Like I didn't hear shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm. Nope. I didn't even see that happen. You just completely disregard it. Selective listening or selective hearing. It's like you don't have to do it then. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> you actually didn't hear it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Exactly. So, like, Dad, the most clever person on the planet. Fucking dad moves, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fucking. I'm getting better. I'm getting out. better with it. No, you just decide what you want to and what you don't want to hear at what time. Sometimes you're just in your own world. You're like, I think that this fucking coaster is cool as fuck. Look at this. You'd think I'd just get better with. Disappoint with not disappointing Cam because we've been together forever. Like I just learned to not be an asshole. Huh? <laughs> See what Man, that's how that feels. Oh shit! <laughs> that just happened. That sucks to be on the other end. Because you're just you're just you're just into the coaster. Uh -huh. You're into whatever it is, and you just you just zone the fuck in, and you do it a lot just because, you know, whenever you're pretty stoned, <laughs> you're pretty focused. Yeah. Like, yeah. whenever you smoke, you get laser-focused into a certain thing, and you completely engulf yourself, and nothing else matters. Mm -mm. That's why you're so good at what you do, because whenever you do that and smoke and get into it, you're like, oh, I'm going to smoke and really get into this. And everybody's like, who the fuck smokes and gets into anything? Little do they know that that's how they get sucked into the fucking TV of watching the cool Animal Planet show because you got stoned and it sucked you in and you are laser focused on this and be like, bro, what the fuck are we watching? This is incredible. Can you believe that that eagle can see that far? 
bro, you are laser focused on what you're watching. Yep. You're able to apply your skill while you do it. So you're able to smoke and get laser focused into something. So whenever you focus in on anything or a thought in your head as you're eating, you're like, man, I can't believe this is going on right now. This is wild. You're not looking at anything. You're just thinking and someone's talking to you and that shit don't fucking matter right now. Mm -hmm. You're like disregarding everything that they said. Yep. Yep. That's it. Uh Uh-huh. I love it. Fuck. It's wild. It's a good trait, but it's also poor because you have to pay attention when you do it to the person that you love that actually like needs you to listen to them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, all right, I'm going to focus on you right now. Go. It's so hard. (laughs) I'll try so hard. Something will always like grab me. Like, oh. I oh, the TV, flashing lights, pretty colors, boobs, titties. Titties can wrap me in for an extended period of time. Get you in there. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie, boobs, butts, all of it. Fucking perverts. It's just cool. Oh, man. I want more caffeine. I want an energy drink. You're not allowed to have them. I know. Three carbohydrates in each energy drink. Or each serving of an energy drink, so it's like six. What are you talking about? Some energy drinks are more than one serving per can. No, they're not. It's all one serving per can. I think that that wasn't right. (laughs) I think you made that up. I do that sometimes. I have such a confidence in my own thoughts. Dad move. Yep, dad yeah. move. Sorry. Right. I follow a couple of dad meme pages on Instagram too. Mm-hmm. Man, that that is such another dad thing. Because <laughs> there's some things like Kim will ask me questions and I'll have an answer and I'm like, fuck, I don't even know. I don't even know what I just. I just said. I just use my own common sense to come up with that answer. Here, I'm gonna pull up a. I love that dad page oh. uh, you showed me. Here, I'm going to pull one up right now. Yeah, this is uh, Simon Holland. All it is is his tweets. He just does his tweets. It's on his Instagram. So Mm -hmm. uh, we'll pull, we'll go here. Uh, Somebody said Monster has two servings in it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what you were thinking of. Yep. Fuck Monster. You said six, so you're still kind of wrong. Almost right, though. Almost right. I gotta find. I'm gonna find a couple of really good ones here. You see this new picture that Mike put a, or tagged yeah. us in on Instagram? <laughs> Crammed into that bus. Look, we all posed for a picture during gameplay last night. Nice. <laughs> Fucking guys. We were all in one truck, getting ready to be blown up. Here's this is this. All he does is quote dad shit. He says, "Dads will wake up at 5:30 on a Saturday just so they have something to tell people the rest of the day." <laughs> What'd you do this weekend? Well, I was up at five on Sunday. (laughs) Going out to dinner with a rival dad and his family, and I told him he should pick the restaurant since I don't know where they have good mild boneless wings. (laughs) (laughs) When going out with a rival dad. (laughs) Oh, yeah. He he has rival dads all the time here. Um, uh, almost, uh, Almost time to text rival dads to see if they want to go get a beer. Anyone who declines gets accused of watching The Bachelor. <laughs> asked a rival dad if he still asked a rival dad if he was still going to be a Patriots fan or if he was going to wait to see who won the Super Bowl before picking a new team. <laughs> this is just a bunch of neighborhood dad shit. Yeah, that's all it is. Oh. Uh, fucking riot man you ever see like did you see the dad meme of like meeting like for beers in the (laughs) cul-de-sac yeah six feet away from each other tell you what it's uh how is it that i just don't i don't know this is just a Nope. Don't go down there again, Seth. Nope. Stay away from it. Nope. Stay away from the light. Don't go. I'm not going to do anything. Don't get dragged into it. Stay away. Stay away from it. Ride the wave. Bullshit. 
Shred it. Shred the gnar. <laughs> I can't believe that we live in the biggest world of fucking pussies. There's a couple of them. I hate it. I hate it. Get out of here. It's driving me crazy right now. You're driving me crazy. You fucking... Don't talk to me when you're talking to me. Don't go to negative town. Ugh, it's so painful. I just want to go back to like watching the Food Network and talking about like current events that aren't fucking out of control. And this is fucking painful. This is the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Unfucking real. Unfucking real. I just want purgatory to be open. I'm going to say some things. There will be many things that never go back to the fucking never go back to normal. Bro, who the fuck goes to Walmart? And then doesn't wash their hands after going to Walmart before they eat or touch themselves. Listen, my mom never let me touch the fucking carts at Walmart ever. Ever. Don't touch the fucking cart. Don't touch the cart. Hey, we're going to Walmart. Don't touch the cart. I love everybody that's wearing gloves that thinks it's a good idea because then they're, they're wearing gloves and they're touching everything. They'll touch the bad stuff that they touch with the glove. Like, oh, this is, uh, this is bad, but it's not my real hand, so it's okay. But then don't change their gloves whenever they go fucking do anything else. If you go to the store, if you go to the store with gloves on and leave the store, I don't care if you even take them off before you get in your car. You touch something else during that time. You did. You are cross-contaminating everything. Because whenever you wear gloves, you're like, oh, it's not on my hands. It doesn't matter. But it's on other fucking substance. It's on other mm -hmm. other items. Yeah. You're telling me when you're in the store and you, you're getting a phone call, you're taking your right glove off to answer it. Fuck, yeah. no, you're not. Nope. It's fucking crazy. And then when you take your gloves off, you're going to touch your phone. How the fuck did we or not you, learn about these Or you these take things? the fucking gloves off and you throw them in the parking lot of the grocery store. They're all over Giant Eagle fucking parking lot. You fucking assholes. The, oh, do you see the masks? They're already through all the fucking... The masks and gloves are fucking everywhere. Yeah. Oh, we're not allowed to use plastic straws, but we have latex fucking gloves everywhere now. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. This is the biggest bag of dicks in the world. Nothing is making sense. Nothing. Mm -mm. Nope. Big old sack of shit. <laughs> Anybody that says any different is doesn't their their fucking nostrils don't work because they can't smell it. I I see it. I smell it. I look at it. I'm like this fucking shit don't make sense. Nothing makes sense. Not one thing makes fucking sense right now. You shut down the entire fucking world over something that is real, okay? But it does not have the same mortality rate as other fucking pandemics. H1N1 killed 60,000 motherfuckers. 60,000. And we didn't do this shit. And then people are going to be like, well, we're, we're social distancing right now. Listen, nobody, we're social distancing, but guess what? Everybody's still going to the fucking grocery store. Everybody's still going to fucking Lowe's. Everybody's still buying food at restaurants. Everybody's still doing everything. Mm -hmm. This is a half-assed effort. Support your local community, but your local community actually can't run, so they're going to go out of fucking business. Mm -hmm. Our economy is tanking. I don't know. I just, I can't talk too much more on it because... Uh, because I, I, if I engulf myself into it, I won't think about anything else. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm getting another cup of coffee. Do it. I've noticed that I don't have any more of my, uh, any more of my manly looking coffee mugs. Hmm. I don't know where they went. Yeah. You rocked a pink one. I got the pink one there. And then I got the purple Yeti here. Mm -hmm. Don't know where my other ones went. I'm probably going to say I lost them, but I'm going to blame it on Hannah. I'm going to say you probably kept it in the truck a, a week too long, and you had to throw it out. I'm going to say that it's Hannah's fault, even though she doesn't go anywhere. Definitely Hannah's fault. That makes sense. Hashtag Hannah's fault. Hashtag Hannah's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love when you're like so sure 
like you put something somewhere and then it's their fault. I do that all the time. All the time. Like, did you touch, like, right now, hold on, I'm missing my, uh, my, you know, you get a coffee scooper thing with your, like, with a Keurig or what, or not Keurig, but like a coffee maker. Yeah, rig. yeah, the the one that is the perfect ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't find it, and the last person who washed my my dishes was was Lex, and I was yeah. like, I texted her, I was like, Hey, did you move my coffee scooper? And she was like, No, I didn't touch that. Why are you blaming me? I was like, I'm not blaming you. I'm just asking. She, oh my god, that was I shouldn't have even asked. It's like, listen, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. If you happen to move it, then you would know. Out yeah. of the gate, we can just knock this out. I'm pretty sure I lost it, and I don't know where it's at still. It's been missing for like a month. I just use a spoon now. I love when like I'll be like, oh, I put it back here, da 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 and she'll be like, no, you put it here. I'm like, no, I didn't, and then that's where it is. You think she moves it to say? And then I'll be like, well, you moved it. Or like, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll always spin it. I'll yep. spin it back. She's so patient with my antics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get another snack? I don't know. The deer jerky sitting there. I love that Shane said the last person who washed my dishes was my dishwasher. And <laughs> and then I bitched at her for it. <laughs> he said he got mad at his woman for washing his dishes and moving it somewhere. No, that I he didn't, didn't get put. mad. I was just wondering where it would have went. She was the last person to see it. He was just asking. Just asking. I'm asking a simple question. I told where her the she fuck did you put my thing after you politely cleaned my dishes for me? Thank you, yeah. sweetheart. But where the fuck is it? I didn't. Where is it at? I, she, <laughs> she didn't have to clean my dishes. I told her she didn't have to. But she did. Hmm. She was doing it because she wanted to dick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to say it. Yeah. And look yes. at your Easter colors. Look, look at this e- shit. Look at your Easter basket. I love Easter time. Like a snack. A big, <laughs> a big Easter snack. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Easter is worse than Halloween by far. With candy? In a ranking of like, okay, let's do this right now. Fun times. In a ranking of what holiday is the worst for uh, for food? Like worst for us. Because we're, we're both fat guys. Mm-hmm. We both have a problem with eating. We both do a fuck ton of cardio to keep our weight like where it is. And if we hold off for a day... If we don't do cardio for a day or two, fucking weight just jumps up three pounds. Like, it's a guarantee. So, what's the worst holiday for food? Like the like candy? Uh, 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 overall. Well, candy, uh, I think I think Easter's worse than Halloween for some reason. I think so, too. At least you have to walk to get the fucking candy at Halloween. Yeah, here you're just giving a basket of sugar. Here you go. <laughs> here you go, fucker. It's 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Only one. Fuck you, yeah, mom. get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I only ate one. Here got this I am. basket and 35 eggs. We're going to go to Aunt Cindy's, and I'm going to get fi- like 55 more. Yeah. Might get a dollar in those. <laughs> yeah. A couple quarters. So, I say, uh, I say, I think Easter's the worst for me for, for candy. For candy, Easter. Easter. I think it's worse than I think it's worse than Halloween. A couple standout things in my Easter basket that my mom would do. Yeah, yeah, let's hear them. So, I liked uh, the, the Cadbury eggs. Are you a Cadbury egg guy? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. And you don't like fucking ranch dressing and shit. No. Both that white creamy fucking texture shit. Yeah, it's not ranch in a fucking egg. No, just the consistency <laughs> and the look. You're so picky with things, how they look, or, or or anything like that. For me, I can't do the Cadbury eggs because of the texture of it. No, I like it. Ah, it's sweet it's and sugary it. and fat. It's fatty. <laughs> there's that, there's nice that fucking fat. chubby kid in you. Yep, that's it. And then uh, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup eggs or the bunnies. Yeah, the, I like both. The eggs are, the eggs are like, iconic. Mm-hmm. They just fuck you up. Yep. Yeah, what else? What else was in there? Oh, Jolly Rancher Jelly Beans. Oh, yeah. Fuck those yeah. were fire. Yeah, those are the best ones, I think. Yeah, I don't like like the traditional jelly bean flavors. Not really into <sighs> not them. After, not after Starburst came out, oh, Jolly yeah. Rancher came out. They started fucking and mm. just kicked out. Starburst Jelly Beans are crazy good. I like those, too. Those those two are the ones that are always in our house. What else Easter Bunny leaves there? them. 
my mom would always get at least one big hollow chocolate bunny. You know, the one in the box. So she'd do the big, or would she? So she did the giant Easter uh, Easter bunny. Would she ever do those fucking crazy like giant Easter eggs? Uh, like full of like a peanut butter or no. anything like that, like the one pound eggs. Maybe one time. My parents did that for us, and then we yeah. like cut them up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember one year. Uh, There's four of us kids, so we had fucking you know Easter basket, four Easter baskets, four eggs. Mm-hmm. Our dog the one year, Tinkerbell, I believe it was. Beautiful golden retriever. Mm-hmm. It was a red golden retriever. Oh yeah, fucking awesome cool dog. Color. It got in. She got into one of the baskets. Oh, no. Ate the whole fucking basket. My oldest sister left it down because we all had to put them up. Yeah. Got ate a whole fucking one pound peanut butter egg and was shitting grass and peanut butter eggs for like a week. Yeah. It was out of hand. Man. It was bad. Yeah. Yeah. We thought she was going to die and all this stuff, but no, just shit it all out and everything was fine. Yeah. Chocolate's like toxic to Very dogs, bad. Right? But it ate the one pound egg and a bunch of jelly beans and then hard boiled eggs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what it ate. <laughs> bunch of fucking grass. So you, so uh, what about Robin's eggs? Those Robin egg things? Oh yeah. Those yeah? are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You like those? Yep. Shane, what about you? What was some, what's a big Easter candy for you? Uh, I really don't like Easter. But like the cho- the big chocolate. Go along bunny. with the game and shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're always gonna get your two cents in before. I just don't like it. <laughs> Why don't you like? I like it? the nerds ropes. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. So are you like a hard candy guy then? Like no, the n- I like chocolate. Oh, okay. But you like the nerd ropes? Yeah, nerd ropes are probably. The so did only you just tell candy. your mom you didn't like Easter and she didn't make you a basket she or nothing? N- no, I always get a basket. I just don't like Easter. Okay. He doesn't want to play. It's okay. It's all right. What about sweet tarts? Do you like sweet tarts? I do not like sweet tarts. Skittles? Fun I like dip. Skittles. Fun dip? I like fun dip. Me too. Yeah, I like fun dip. Mm-hmm. Probably not going to be allowed after COVID because you got to lick it and stick it in a bag. Don't <laughs> fucking die. What else do we have? Uh, so for us, we always got like one small like gift. Yeah, Something us like too. That. We got a small gift. Um, but the eggs, the, the one pound eggs were big. And then me, gummy bears. Like Easter Bunny always brought me gummy bears, like a whole bag of them, a bunch of different fucking shapes. And I usually got a video game. <clears throat> yeah, we would get that if we got uh, mm-hmm. if we were into gaming or what we were into. Did that? Um, jelly beans were big, but that was pretty much all I wanted. And then ham sandwiches. Always ate a ham sandwich. Mm-hmm. Easter that was big with us. But I like Easter food. I mean, at least how my how my family did it. What do you do with it? Well, they they would do the ham. Mm-hmm. My grandmother always did a ham, and then my uncle he would make the big fillet mm. tenderloin. You did say that, but then like all the little sides and hors d'oeuvres they do, they're always fire. Good times. Like everyone in my family, they're just like really good cooks. Like it's not like old school cooking. Yeah, it's like the new uh, you know Food Network stuff. And well, what was that one thing uh, my buddy my buddy sent it to me? Um, the Easter pies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Have I've heard of Have you ever heard of that, Shane? No. All right, look, I'm going to look him up. I'm going to pull it yeah, up right look now. look up an Easter pie, Shane. I'm going to pull up the message he sent to me, because he overheard us talking about it the other time. It's like a... What the a, fuck didn't he pop up? It's like an e- Easter pizza. There it is. So my uh, friend Nick, um, from around here, overheard us talking about it. What the fuck? No, it's not in there. Oh, yeah. Here's the Easter pie. Pull it up on the TV. I, there's no internet. What do you mean there's no internet? I don't know what happened. It's who's, on the fritz. Who's on? Uh, who's responsible for we this? We can play the dinosaur thing, though. Dicks. No. Here, no oh, that's mind. pretty cool. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> you didn't know that? I got him. No. Yeah, if so, you don't have internet on your browser, um, a little dinosaur pops up, here, and then you it. can... Uh, Oh, internet's back. No, it's not. So a little dinosaur pops up, and you press space, and then it starts going. Then you can like play a game with a jumping dinosaur. And then you, yeah. Oh, oh you died. You ran into the. Cactus. Oh, I did it on. Per- I don't want to sit here and play a game the whole time. Oh, I didn't. I thought you were going to see how far you could I go. I thought you just sucked at video games. Oh no, I'd I'd get into the thousands. I don't want to. You know. Oh, Hannah just texted me. School's closed for the rest of the year. Fucking cool. Great. Great. Uh, anyway, Easter pies—they're just Easter like these. Easter pies. Uh, 
it's just it's like pizza. It's just a bunch of meat pizzas. Eggs, just, cheeses, Italian cold cuts. Yep. This one has like he said in here, he said in the message, was listening to your podcast about food on Easter. My wife's family does Easter Italian Easter pie, Easter pizza. Sorry, I can't fucking just my mind's going too fast. Every year 13 pound pizzas with over 10 different meats in each of them. This is a picture of what it looks like. Bro, fucking out of hand. It looks pretty good. Yeah, those those are those Italian ones. So listen, I would enjoy trying this, but motherfucker, I, there's no way you can eat more than like a piece of this. It'll fuck you up. Yeah. Fuck you up. Meat, Look at this thing. Meat sweats. Oh, the meat sweats. <sighs> Did you ever have a tomato pie? No. Mm, I don't I don't it, think It's kind so. of uh, it's kind of like a Philly thing like They'll either uh, they'll just be like a pizza, uh-huh. uh huh, like a thicker crust, like a, almost like a Sicilian, okay, just with sauce. Hmm. Or they'll put cheese down and then put the sauce on top. That's a little that's like a little it looks different. like that. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I I'm not really into it, but like I don't know if I like it. Kim's nope. dad's really into it. It's a Philly thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. people think here the Primani yeah, sandwiches. Look, like, look, tomato pies. Like, they'll might put a little bit of parm cheese on there. Yeah, I've seen the parm cheese on it. I mean, I get it. I'm a cheese guy, though. My pizza. I like. I just like pizza. I won't discriminate. I can't because I'll try it. I'll try it. No. Well, uh, if you want to go get a beer and eat some pizza, fuck yeah, I'll do it. Pizza is my number one favorite food. Is it? Yep. I can. I can't argue it any other way. It's what I reach for every time I want to really, like, just pig out. Pizza. So good. Yanni's Pizza up the road is pretty good. It's my favorite. They around here. Job. Yeah, around here they do a good job. Mm. A couple places I want to try downtown, but I don't know. I don't know if I should be down there. Nope, you can't. You'll die. You're going to die. You wear a hazmat suit if you go down there. Nope, you can't. You'll die. I'm going to try that buffalo chicken pizza this weekend. Yeah, fucking thousand, house of a thousand beers. Yep. It's really Some good. Some of the best buffalo chicken pizza I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Yep, going to try it. So uh, going back to the worst holiday foods mm. for you, or the yep. worst holiday, what do you think is the worst holiday to eat at, and what is the best holiday to eat at per caloric intake? Mm-hmm. For you personal, and then just for like overall universal, like what do you think the standard is? Like where, what holidays, what holiday do you think is the fattest but for you, mm-hmm. and then like not for me, I would say it's probably Christmas, just because of all the sweets and the cookies it's and the fattest. Yeah, that's the fattest. Um, I would think for everyone else, like as a generalized one, it would be Thanksgiving, just because of the sheer volume of food. Like okay. it's just like you just keep pl- on going more than one plate. Yeah, you might have three, four plates in a day, and then oh, you get uh, home yeah. and like eat leftovers at like midnight. Leftover pumpkin pie, shit like that. Yeah. So as far as like a day, the full day. Full day, you think Thanksgiving's yeah. the, the heaviest? I'm not a big Thanksgiving food guy. I so it's not your worst? Right. So Christmas, I'm like, yeah, I'll eat fucking cookies all day. Mm. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Easter? Easter, I kind of eat lighter because it's a spring. It's like a spring event. Okay. Usually in like t-shirt and shorts now. Like I don't want to really stuff my face. So then uh, a 4th of July party, you're like, hmm, I'm cool. Like not even that bad. No, yeah, like can't maybe even, like, doesn't even doesn't even fucking rank up there. Nope. If even I, though you drank a couple thousand calories in alcohol. Nope. Nope. Doesn't even qualify. No, I don't think so. Maybe the calories, but like that's what I'm saying. Like calorie intake, all that. Like, which one's the worst for you from a caloric standpoint? It's it's got to be it's got to be like Christmas cookies day. You, How, yeah, it's got to be the, all the fat and the butter and the sugar and. I'd love to find out. I'd love to do that because what, do you have a take on it, Shane? Yeah, uh, Thanksgiving's my worst. Mm. And, and then 4th of July, I think's the best. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I don't eat a lot at su- like summer parties. No. Like I might pick at something light, like some pretzels here and there and chips, yeah. dip. Yeah. But then I'll have like a burger and then I'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to do some, do, do the math in my head. But I think that, I think you're right. I think... Christmas and Thanksgiving are by far the worst. Mm-hmm. Just because of fucking... It, it, you know what? I would say that... There's just no watching anything. It, not, not only that, but Christmas and Thanksgiving aren't one day. Mm-hmm. It's a season. So like whenever we say, oh, Easter 
or Fourth of July or a Memorial Day party, that's a day of eating yeah. and drinking. You're right. Whereas Christmas, you're like, oh, it's Christmas time. It's December 14th. Mrs. Mrs. Bakerfield just brought over some fucking cookies. Hey, at work, there's cookies. Hey, whenever I go here, there's cookies. It's a fucking season of eating. Yeah. It's not one day. Like one day on Christmas, nah, the meal ain't that bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's still pretty fucking bad. But it's... It's the season that kills you. You're right. But I would say that Christmas or in Thanksgiving are the worst. I'd probably say Thanksgiving is easier to consume way more calories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the casseroles and the, casseroles the and pies, the fucking sweet potatoes, like hot, really high dense. High dense foods. Mm-hmm. Stuffing. Yeah. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All, all the butter. Yeah. Yeah. Butter's on every single thing you're eating on Thanksgiving. Pretty much. I yeah. love it. Butter is really good. I forgot because I stayed away from it for so long. Like I asked uh, the eggs she made me the one morning. I was like, why are these eggs so good? I was like, this is the cheese. She's like, no, it's the same cheese. I like just put butter on it. I'm like, man, butter is fucking. Delicious. Yeah. I like making eggs with butter. The only time I will eat eggs with butter is on Sunday whenever I make breakfast for the girls. Mm-hmm. And it's like eggs always taste better on Sunday. Why? Because I use butter. Yeah. And then... um. Uh, I like buttered bread. That's I the love Italian in bread. Me. Love it. Whenever we go, whenever we go out to a restaurant, like the bread and butter comes out, I'm so critical and judgmental of the bread and butter. I'm huge on the bread and butter. Yeah, if it well, sucks, I'll be pissed, bro. I haven't really, I haven't really been had the opportunity to go out to eat. It's doing great for you with keto. That's what I mean. Because then, if you went to fucking, if you went to a restaurant, you're like, oh, the, then the bread and butter came out, and I was like, oh, I gotta have it. I know, because you feel bad. Like, especially if me and Kim go down to Eddie V's and they bring out bread and butter, it's like, nope, you're going to have to throw that out and neither of us eat the bread. No, I'm going to eat the bread. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just eat the or butter. Or she's going to be like, do not bring the bread and butter out. Yeah. You don't want it. But if you don't get that in, they're so fast there. Oh, darn, the bread's here. Oh, fuck. Can't waste it. <laughs> Good coffee this morning. Yeah. I had a good cup at the house, too. Gavilia. We have the coup rig at the house. Yeah, we've been doing uh, got some Presto George. We, I just brew one cup at home. Mm-hmm. Hannah does a cup. We do. Uh, we just do grind. Like, we have that coffee maker. That sack of shit back there? Yeah, but we don't, we don't grind it anymore in there. We just pre-fill. We just do the it's grounds. It's the worst fucking coffee maker I've ever had. It's bad. Breville can suck my balls. Mm-hmm. Expensive as fuck. Looks all cool and shit. It's a sack of shit. It's bad. Bring me Mr. Coffee or Bun. I just want to flip a switch. Not only that, it's just such a pain in the dick to clean, and then it gets clogged every other fucking day. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you mean it got clogged? It's a fucking three hundred dollar coffee maker. It's really the last thing I want to do in the morning. Sack of monkey shit. Mm-hmm. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed about it. I think I'm more mad at myself about it. I'm mad I got myself one. I'm mad we have one here. I'm mad I got my mom one. I'm mad that like we were all excited and, and went through everything and all the reviews were great. Do you remember the decision on that? Oh, my God. It was huge. We were in the store. We were holding them. Huge deal. Nope. Fuck that thing. It's the first thing we bought for this podcast room. Fuck that thing. I'm so mad. I'm mad at myself. That's we should, I we it's should. a great coffee maker because it brews a crazy hot cup of coffee. It's delicious when the bitch works right. I just want to throw it out there in the grass. We should pull office space on that bitch and just mm-hmm. shoot it with the guns. Take it out there. Fucking Shane, you can t- get your new bow. Yep. Stick that bitch. I'll fucking arrow the shit out of that thing. Shane, fucking Robin Shane, Hood. Shane bought a compound bow. Yep. What is it? A Matthews? It's a Matthews, yep. Matthews Triax. Triax. Same mm-hmm. one I have. Yep. Got a fucking stupid deal on it. Yep. <laughs> yep. $2,000 bow for 600 bucks. <laughs> fucking stone color with yeah, the, the uh, color I like the color i forget what the color of the string the strings are they're like a green but like a neon green they're not neat it's like i think you said they were key lime key uh, lime green good yeah. color name yeah. yeah i like key lime way pie. better than just green my mom makes killer key lime pie i'm a big uh have you ever had my mom's key lime pie no holy fuck how is you how have you not been offered that over there just haven't been there on the day just haven't been there one of the craziest foods that my mom makes that is so crazy calorie dense is Mississippi mud cake. I think I've had that. It is fucking just thick, 
rich, dense chocolate and chocolate and then a little bit of marshmallow on top swirled into the top part of it. And just chocolate. Holy fuck, like a piece, maybe like that big. That's all you can have. You, you wouldn't be, you'd be like, no, I'm good. If you have a full piece of it, your stomach's going to hurt after eating it. Like that big? Fuck yeah. Makes like a 13 by 9 plate of them. Mm -hmm. Fucking crazy rich. I love mom desserts. Oh, yeah. Just all shitty for you, but tastes so good. I was wondering at what point. I don't know. It's different for everybody. At what point does just the fuck it get thrown into the air? I don't think I'll ever say fuck it. I love my snacks and I love working out. Hmm. Everybody always asked me when I was big as fuck. I'd be like, what's going to happen to all that when you stop working out? And I'm like, when the fuck am I going to stop working out? When's that going to happen? Am I going to stop working out like all of a sudden? Yeah, right. Because I hate it. You think I work out because I, you think that like I don't like working out? Is that what it is? Hmm. I love working out. I like sweating. Like there's like a day that's just, you're done. Then that's like the thing like, like, <laughs> This is going to sound really fucked up, but it's like, oh, I work out because I'm functional and fuckable. Like, I want my cardio to be up. So whenever I'm in the fucking shit and I'm blasting the fuck out of my woman, I'm like a fucking energizer bunny. I'm not tired. My abs don't hurt. I look great while I'm fucking her. She looks at me and she's like, look at you, you fucking stud. Yeah. I'm pounding the shit out of her. I'm not breathing all heavy. And I'm like, fuck, I could go for hours. Stiff dick, fucking eat a Viagra, drink a half a bottle of whiskey, look phenomenal. My fucking Saturday nights are lit. Yeah. And I'm like... What do you look like when you're doing it? Are you breathing all heavy? Ah, oh, oh, it's too hard. I can't do it no more. Ah, oh, no, no. I want to be fucking, I be in it. Got to, yeah. I want to be fucking. Got to put the effort in there. Not only effort, but it's just like the whole nine. Like, I want to be fucking, I don't look great. I want to feel great and be fucking. Performer. Performer. Yeah, yeah, you got to. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll do cardio every day just to be a top-notch performer, even though sometimes my pecker gets sensitive and I lose the match, but that doesn't matter. It's still a win. Mm -hmm. Still a win. Always a win for me. It is. Every time. I'm winning every time, no matter what. Yeah. But I always wondered, I'm like, oh, what do you look like when you do it? Like me. Me. No, not (laughs) you. I know you're a stud. I know you're great, Bob. You're, You're awesome at it. You have to be. No, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I could say some really fucked up things right now, and I don't know if I should or not. <laughs> I was going to go on all in. <laughs> I got all, I've been getting all fired up all day, and you're like, nope, don't go down that road. I just. And then you, I think to myself, oh, what? I'd probably, I'd probably fuck your wife better than you fuck your <laughs> wife. Look at me. I'm the Energizer Bunny. I can go forever. <laughs> What are you doing over there, bitching? Hot? What are you going to do when you stop working out? I'm not going to stop working out. That's like saying I'm going to stop fucking. No way. Why do you jerk off so much so I'm good when I have sex? So my penis is prepped and ready. Fucking stiff-dicked all in. You got to be that way. Got to stay on. Got to be on your game. Mm-hmm. What do you want? You can't. They're going to no. go find someone else. They will. And then they're not going to talk good about you to your friends. You wanna, I want to fucking I wanna make sure I'm t- they're telling good stories. Good stories. He fucked me so hard. Oh, it was great. You should have seen his tiny pecker. It was, it was doing great that day. I knew he did something to it. He had to have. <laughs> Doesn't look like that every time. He said he didn't. He said he didn't. He said that's just normal. <laughs> I know it's not normal. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I'd never, I'd never stop working out. I don't want to. I like to. I couldn't imagine not. It's not like all of a sudden you just, you completed it. Oh. I completed lifting. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I've attained everything I want to. No, that's part of the fun. That's part of the challenge. Like, you don't want to stop that. Whenever you see me gain weight, that means that my eating habits and drinking habits have become stronger than my workout habits. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Whenever that occurs, I'm like, fuck, I got to change my ways. That's about it. But no, that's why I like working out. Mm-hmm. I like doing curls. I like having great biceps. I mean, I definitely work out so I can eat more. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's all performance based. It's based on it's your a look. Big reason. It's a circle. It all comes back. It all just keeps going around and around. Yep. I eat. I work out. I have sex. I look great. I eat too much. I look bad. I work out harder. You know, circle of life. I mean, it makes sense. Makes sense in my head. It's all that matters. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care about anybody else when it comes to that. I just try and influence other people to think like me because my life's pretty cool. You mean I can eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at nighttime with a tall glass of Fair Life milk, wake up, do cardio, do 200 push-ups, 200 sit-ups, and that peanut butter and jelly never happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it every night. Fuck. Just look look for ways to delete it. Yeah. How do I delete this? Yeah, and on top of that, if I do cardio for 45 minutes, that means my cardiovascular health is up. That means that I can go longer in the bedroom. Because I know what it's like to... <gasps> 250 pounds on <gasps> sweating, fucking dripping sweat all. No. If I'm dripping sweat, it's because we've been going at it for fucking 30 minutes. And it's just like, sweet baby Jesus. Get it over with. Yeah, sometimes, you know. Sometimes like, man. Sometimes you can go at it and have a couple, have a really good time. Mm-hmm. Get all fired up. Yeah. Yeah. Been there. Done that. Jamaica. Hmm. Surprised I didn't make a baby in Jamaica. Fuck. Mm -hmm. That was a wild time. Yeah. I miss Jamaica. Maybe I'll go there. It's still there. Yeah, I heard it's still there. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's open for business, though. What if I try to go there? Can I get get in there? I don't think so. I don't know if you'll be allowed back in. Hmm. (sighs) Well. Just stay here in Western PA. Yep. At least it's not wintertime anymore. That's the good part. I'm not I'm not ruling out. A snowstorm. Dude. You think one could come? What is it? April 9th? Yeah. One could show up, huh? I think there's like a seven day, like we got seven days for like that could occur. And then after the, the next seven days, there's no way. I'll say, yeah, I think we're there. We had such a mild winter. I don't think anything bad could happen. Mm-hmm. This winter was, this winter wasn't a winter. Mm-mm. I didn't have to fucking shovel shit. Nope. I didn't do nothing. Mm-mm. I haven't gotten snowed in at my house yet. No. You're not not, not that I would, but... Yeah. Like where I actually had to, like, move some snow. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nope. Hmm. What are you going to do? Nothing. Well, this was an entertaining day. Yeah, it's different. Dad moves. When you got him, you got him, man. <laughs> You're in it. And when you don't, you still got him. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Well, let's end this with the three questions from Shaner over there. These questions come from Answer the Internet, the Barstool Sports Card Game, that is full of just fucked up questions. We don't know any of these questions, but Shane asks them at the end of every single podcast. We usually do three of them, and then we just answer them off the cuff. These are not to be taken serious. They're to be fun, entertaining, and they are made for you to be able to ask your significant other, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your coworker. Send out a fucking mass email to all the people you work with and get in trouble from HR for asking a fucked up penis question. Who Do cares it. if you get fired? They're not going to fire you now. Mm-hmm. They can't. You're essential. They need you. <laughs> Do it. Send some texts. Have fun. Post it on the internet. I don't know. Enjoy everything about it. But needless to say... Don't take anything we say from here on out too 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 to hard or anything like that. I think everybody figured that out though. I think so. Yeah, we say some fucked up shit regardless. I don't really care anymore. This is where, right in a time of this, in a time of quarantine, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if like a naked picture of me all of a sudden popped out. I'd probably be cool with it. I'd be like, Oh look, he's sitting on his front porch naked during quarantine. I should probably do the same. Makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything bad that could happen from this. One in Rome. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Nothing worse. No, what the fuck worse? I I wouldn't be surprised if fucking King Kong f- climbed over the fucking hill right there, and I was like, like, oh look, King Kong. All right, cool. So is coronavirus gonna kill King Kong too? Fuck. I think he's from New York, right? King Kong, isn't that like the? They brought it. They, they brought him. They brought him to New York. Yeah. Maybe what would be here? Maybe like a giant deer. Or like a. <laughs> giant deer. <laughs> Big fucking giant deer. Could you imagine like a fucking? Could you imagine? A monster deer. Like how tall? Like stupid tall. Like a 20-foot deer. Oh. <laughs> it would still run in the traffic. Can you imagine its legs? <laughs> yeah. like, a, like a hoof? Like a giant 20-foot Fuck deer yeah, hoof? 20-foot deer? <laughs> Look at that white tail. <laughs> Fucking huge. Oh, my God. Definitely be a record. Yeah. <laughs> I'll shoot it with my bow. 
You would need like one of those like uh, medieval bows that were like the size of like, the, like as big as this table. Yeah. Or the one from uh, Big Old Recurve. Game of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. yeah. What a great show. Fuck you. Fuck that show. Read your questions. Worst worst show of all time. <laughs> um, that's no, not even going to talk about it. Game of Thrones. <clears throat> go ahead. Ready? Please go on, Shane. All right. Pull the internet. Is sex with conjoined twins a threesome? Boy, would that be wild. Do they have one vagina or, or two? Two vaginas. How are they conjoined? Uh-huh. Is it two heads? Yeah, I'd say we're conjoined at the head. Like, so, so or no, two no. Two heads in one body or like two heads and two bodies, but they're like together. Yeah, that one. I'd definitely fuck them both. I wouldn't let one feel left out. Could you let one of them feel left out? No, I'd want to see if they were the same. If I was conjoined with you and you were having sex with another woman, I would expect to at least get a hand job out of it. Oh, yeah. Right? You'd be like, yeah, you got to jerk him off, too. Totally fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can't be fucking and leave him out of it. No. Two for one deal. So I feel like the woman, I'd definitely fucking, if she wanted it, I wouldn't force her. But is it, the question is, is it a threesome? Like, Oh, yeah, it's oh two, it's yeah two, definitely. Two yeah, heads, two, two bodies, two vaginas. Yeah. yeah. And it, and I guess if you're a girl with two guys, it's a gangbang. You're a whore. Yeah. Slut. <laughs> Sluts. Ah, sluts. <laughs> Go back to your island. Go back to your whore island. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my. Fucking. I'd definitely call her a whore t- during it, too. No, I wouldn't do that. That's mean. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, definitely. You can't. You, if she wanted it, I would be more than willing to. Yeah, it'd be like if yes. Hannah, if Hannah had another person attached to her. Yeah, if it was like two Hannahs, for sure. Both have small hands. My penis would still look huge. Be great. There you go. Mm-hmm. What about you? Would you be? Would, is it a threesome for you in your head? Yeah, it's a threesome. Okay. Would you do it? Um, probably not. No. Why no. not? It's fu- I don't know. Be weird. Yeah. What you discriminating fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Conjoin twins no need love and two. I know. I have no answer for that one. I don't know. He's set in his ways. Yep. A simple he's a, man. He's a one woman man. He's a simple man. Yep. yep. Good time. Oh, All right, Shane. All right. Debate the internet. If you were born with action. Wait, wait, wait. That was a poll the internet. Oh, sorry. What yeah. What's the answer? 72% said yes. It is a threesome. Yeah, they agree. Yeah. Good call. Man, I almost hold forgot some, about that. Hold some smart people there. There you go. All right, debate the internet. If you were born with action figure hands stuck in the same position forever, what position would your hands be in? One's definitely like this for the weapon. Can can each hand be... Like yeah. To, okay. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of all the scenarios in my life. So one hand would have to be like this so I could put things in it. In it. And then the other hand would have to be in some type of... Like grasping position. Would it be like this to shake hands? Mm, I don't. We're not allowed to shake hands anymore. COVID, Corona. Um, I would say you wouldn't want your hand one to be a cup, right? Like to pick something to scoop, right? Or, or swim. Or yeah, no, dig. I, no, no, no. I don't swim enough. I would say maybe like hold enough. This. Something. I need to bear. I need to be able to bear items in both. I think. Bare arms for sure. You can use like I would do one like I don't know why I keep thinking this. I don't know why I keep going back to the claw motion. Because <sighs> like, if I needed, to I've dig, never seen an action figure with a claw like I know. Hand. He asked me my action figure. Oh so yeah, this is my okay. Head. But I do see the 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 the. <laughs> <laughs> I do see the need for an open face palm to slap you, <laughs> slap a bitch. I, I I think like a like the knife hand. You're going knife hand. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm probably this hand is like this. Yeah. Maybe like a almost like a trigger. trigger. Like so like a yield maybe a sword and or a firearm. Good point. Or Can't nunchucks. disagree with you. Nunchucks. Mm-hmm. Action figures love nunchucks. Yeah. At least one does. Good accessory. Yeah. Put them on the belt. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm, I don't know the other one. You're an action figure guy. What do you yeah. think? I would say the, the, the karate knife chop. Yeah. Well, with the thumb a little bit out so you can like grab stuff maybe with it. Papers. Yeah. Or like a, a cell phone. Beef jerky. Yeah. Tablet. Yeah, I'd say that hand. That and then like the 
I could still pull out my tablet, like in Call of Duty. Yep. Check for heartbeats. So we are you doing like a, a weaponed hand? Weapon like slash sword, beer hand. Put things in yeah. and then the knife hand. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll roll with that if that's my choice. Yeah, those are good. I feel comfortable versatile. with that. Yeah. Yeah, I like those ones. All right. If you would be an action figure, what would it be? If I was an action figure? Yeah. Like what would be your what would be your your traits that you would want? Uh, like muscular, like a Power Ranger. Power Ranger. Yeah, it looked jacked, like a really jacked suit. Yeah. When I think of action figures, I think of Power Rangers. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I think of He Man. Hmm. Yeah. I just think of He Man, right? I away. think of Power Rangers and Batman. I think of He Man, G.I. Joe. Mm-hmm. That's where I go. Yeah. If I was going to be an action figure, I mean, the Call of Duty guy is the, is the G.I. Joe of today's day mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah so i mean like that that is what i would equate like some type of lean jack looking guy from call of duty who would want to be gi joe yeah yep. mm-hmm. yeah or he-man yep like a giant a giant medieval tight wearing quarter gay man <laughs> mm. t-man yeah what are you doing wearing that outfit bro put your dick away Everyone's into it, though. <laughs> like, who the fuck wears that running around that time? Like, you got a fucking Speedo on, bro. Wear some pants. Put some fucking pants on. Just into it. I don't know. That reminded me of the, of the Tosh.0 Rich Piana thing yesterday. That oh, was yeah. funny. Yeah, that was funny. I remember that. Remember Rich Piana oh, and Tosh.0? Yeah, yeah. That was a great, uh, oh, fuck funny yeah. segment. He's I a like riot. Yeah. He was a riot. Yeah. yeah. Good dude. Seemed like a good fella. All right, last one. Last question. Let's go, Shane. A- answer the internet. Would you rather be able to have sex with any five people for a year or get to powerbomb whoever you want, whenever you want, for a, a whole year? So I either get to have sex with five people of any people of my choosing, mm-hmm. women, or I get to powerbomb <laughs> anybody I want, whenever I want. For a year. Five people of powerbombing or anyone I want to? Whenever. Whoever you want. Oh, so I get to power bomb whoever, not like a five people. Nope, but I'm unlimited. Fucking five women. Yes. Listen, I'm power bombing the fuck out of people. Mm-hmm. If I'm never getting in trouble for it, and I could do whoever I want. I'm power bombing a lot of motherfuckers. Pretty much anyone I'd walk up on, like power, <laughs> power bomb. bomb. I'd say it every time I do it too. And like a cool song plays. Fuck yeah! I'd yeah. make sure like whoever I power bomb, you'd have to follow me around. I'd be like, today I'm going power bombing. And, like, you'd have to come out and play the music so they'd know if they heard that music, I'm fucking coming for them. They're like, fuck, that's coming in again. <laughs> Where's he at? Like the barbecue place, go in, power bomb. <laughs> do me, do me, do me next. I just think of, like, remember when the memes were around with, like, John Cena music starting to play? Uh, yeah. Like, I just think oh, of that. Fuck yeah. 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 I'd, I'd, I'd power bomb people. I'm cool. I'm cool with the sex thing. I'm happy. Yeah. Power bombing though. Oh man. Could you imagine that? Somebody like really pisses you off and you just power bomb and power not bomb. getting in trouble. It's normal. Just slam their head off the ground. And they're cool with it. They gotta be. You're yeah. Fuck. They're like fuck. But you don't man. kill them like it's not like it's like you power bomb them onto a gymnastics mat mm-hmm. and it just they're just like, oh fuck, that sucked. That kinda hurt. I it just envision like putting them through a table. Or a table. Mm-hmm. Like Bill's Mafia. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. What do you think? You, you fucking five women are powerbombing people. I'm powerbombing people. You powerbombing people. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'd probably go with the five women. Five women? Mm-hmm. Anytime they want to or you want to. Anytime I want to? What? I thought that was the thing. Like, or, yeah, you get five women oh, no, it's or just power the, bomber. Yeah, it's the same five. Yeah. Yeah, that could be fun for a year. That could be fun and for not you. not get in any trouble and then move on. Yep, nope. Mm-hmm. You're right. Good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They might want to do it together. I want to do, like, weird, I don't know, weird stuff. I don't know if I'd be able to handle five women. I mean, it would, I'd have to have some practice. Yeah, definitely. you have to practice for it. I mean, you can have sex with five different women and powerbomb them. Just make it all in one, right? I definitely would power bomb a bitch. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not going to discriminate. 
<laughs> power bomb. <laughs> who did? Who was the? Who gave? Who gave the power bomb in W? No, w, I know Batista bomb. The Batista bomb, and then didn't Sid Vicious do a, a version of a power bomb? I don't remember. But the tombstone. That was a good one. That was one. That was a long running fucking finishing mm-hmm. move. The people's elbow from the rock. Stone, Stone cold, cold stunner. That was, that was one of the all time bests. Mm-hmm. One of the all time bests. Yep. What would Booker T do? Wouldn't he kick him in the face? Yeah. It was like a, yeah. Sidekick. Right yeah, yeah. Right in the pow, right in the kisser. It's like a clothesline with his sidekick. Mm-hmm. It just took him down. Yeah. He'd throw him off the ropes and then fucking. It was a, a pedigree. Triple H. That was a big one, too. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Mm. Kevin Nash did the uh, powerbomb. Kevin Nash. Kane. There's a, there's a bunch of them. I think there's like 10 of them. Yeah, the powerbomb was more of like a universal move. But it always they all had different variations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chris Benoit. He did a powerbomb? Mm-hmm. There's some people I don't even know. Like who? Uh, Josh, Joshin Thunder Liger. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> oh, The Undertaker does a power bomb. I didn't know that. Hmm. Kota huh? Ibushi? Mm-mm. No. What do you, you, remember, what do you, you remember? Batista's what? number one, so yeah, Batista remember, bomb. Do you remember Yokozuna? Was that, who's that? Is that? That was him, right? Yokozuna or fuck? Damn it, I can't believe I'm doing this. I haven't said that in so long. Jake the Snake. Remember him? Yeah, Yokozuna. I was right. Rashiki. Rashiki. Is that that big guy? Yeah, that shook his ass in people's faces. Yeah. That's how you get pink eye. This guy. You remember that guy? Oh, yeah. Yokozuna, the sumo wrestler. Oh, no, I'd never seen him before. Yeah, it was way back in the day. The Big Show. Remember the Big, the big Show? That fucking dude. That was scary. Pig. Mammoth. Kane, Undertaker. Good big time. dudes. Yep. Oh. Monster people. I wouldn't do too well. A little too short. I would definitely get hurt in the ring. How about Mr. Perfect? You remember that fucking guy? Yep. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. Who was the other one? Ah, it started with the V. Uh, he was like the womanizer. Mm. Who was the pimp? What was the pimp's name? It was his. You remember him? No, I don't remember him. Oh. He's too young. No, I know some of these guys. <laughs> Talk about the Godfather. He hates yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. There he, there he is. Let me see. Yeah, who needs a pimp slap? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I forgot about him. Yeah, he'd come out. He was a big dude too. Fucking wrestling was a riot. This shit's awesome. Fucking great. Gotta love it. Good stuff. Well, everybody, appreciate the listen. Mm-hmm. Make sure you tell your family, your friends, post all about this. And Bob and I are here for your quarantine entertainment. Yeah. On Monday, we do have a we do have a guest coming on, and then we'll, we're actually going to bring on more guests, as many as that we can that don't have to cross state or international lines. Mm-hmm. But uh, we have an Iron Man coming on on Monday. Yep, he's the dad of he's the Iron Man dad. Yep, yep, legitimately good dude. Awesome, I'm excited for it. Appreciate everything. Make sure you guys go and uh, participate in the giveaway for all of my favorite free shit. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. I mean, it's probably like $550 worth of shit in this bag. Yeah. Pretty fucking cool. All you have to do is spend $50 on the Axe and Sledge website, $50 or more, and you're automatically entered. We'll be choosing the winner on Sunday, Easter Sunday. Yeah. All right, everybody. Fucking A. Thank you for listening. Happy Easter. Make sure you're taking care of your family, your friends. Stay safe. Support your community. Fuck shit up.